Hello everybody and welcome back to the doll shop. It's the third day and let's get started. Oh, here she is. Is anyone home? Oh, hello. Am I too early? Sorry. It's okay. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Oh, me too. I've been having strange dreams. Nightmares? Not really. I've been dreaming of a dark room with red walls. <gasps> the butterfly room. And that's it. I just stand there in the dark until I wake up. I'm not sure how to interpret it. Dreams often have no meaning, don't trust them. Sometimes dreams act as a warning message, you should pay attention to them. Ooh, we'll do that one. I suppose we all have a dark side. What the heck does that mean? So this is your workshop. I think I've been here before, when your father was running it. It's been a long time then. Look. I began by gluing their face back together. Fortunately, none of the shards were lost. Now I have to erase the cracks. I need to carefully sand the glue, then I'll paint the face until there are no longer any marks. It's a delicate job. But don't worry, she'll be back on her feet in no time. Uh, that's a creepy thing to say. You speak about dolls as if they were alive. They're alive, in a way. Or do you find that strange? How uh, do you find that strange? No, it's just that I'm a little bit worried about you. Dolls cannot replace human beings. They know how to listen. They don't judge. Oh boy. People are often cruel. I understand. It's been difficult in town as well. My colleagues, my boss. Sometimes I just can't take it anymore. I want to lock myself in my room and never leave. I'm glad you came back. You have to sacrifice too much to live over there. There must be some positive to make up for it. Yeah, let's, let's be nice. It's a unique atmosphere. Everything moves so fast, like a river carrying you along with the current. It's frightening and, at the same time, exciting. But I must be bothering you with my stories. I'll leave you to your work. I'll see you out. I wonder if she knows. To be honest, I I'm not sure if I'll see the doll when it's finished. I may leave tomorrow. So soon? I'd hope you stay longer. I understand there isn't any future in the village. <laughs> let's, let's be a little polite. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to think about it. You should take a walk to the shrine. It's quiet there. I go there sometimes when I need to focus. That's a good idea. I can't stand staying inside anymore. I'll be leaving. Goodbye. Aww. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can meet somewhere tonight. couldn't bring myself to ask. <laughs> you should have. Missed opportunities will only fill you with regret. Our choices are what shape our, our lives, wouldn't you say? You're right. I'm sorry. Is ramen okay? They serve a good one near the station. That should be perfect. How about 6 p.m.? I'll be there. Work hard. And don't bring your dolls. This is between you and me, okay? Of course, see you tonight. Yeah, oh. Oh, within earshot of the doll. Ugh. Interesting. I wonder if the doll is actually, like, alive? Okay, I'll be able to remove excess dry glue by sanding it down carefully. If I work fast and hard, I could bring her the finished doll tonight. Oh. Okay, let's work on this. Make it not so pronounced. I like that there's more uh, gameplay elements in this one as opposed to your age station. Oh, that's an interesting way to break that up. Come 
ones. There we go. It went well. I just have to add a final layer of white and... Oh, I'm short of white. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll have to check if they have them white in stock at the grocery store. Okay. Interesting. We have to check on our, our butterfly, too. I guess we're getting a... a what? Pupula? Cocoon? Okay, just over here. Okay, I, I wanted to go in, not look at it. What can I do for you? I have a problem. I need white to finish my work. It's urgent. Powder pigment, as usual? Yes, please. Let me check. So we make our own paints. Interesting. You're lucky. It's the last one. Who else buys it? <laughs> Been here for a while. I hope it didn't get wet. It looks perfect. I have something else for you. <gasps> what do you mean? You've been bugging me for weeks and now you've forgotten? Your parcel arrived this morning. Hooray! Oh, it totally slipped my mind. I'm anxious to open it up. Are you curious to see what it is? Not particularly. Do it at home. It's time I close. Really? So early? It's late. But isn't it morning? I feel like I just woke up. Your work mustn't be that urgent if you spend the day sleeping. Interesting. It's twenty it's two thousand yen, so about twenty dollars. Here, sorry. Interesting. What? It really is evening. But I could have sworn. Oh no. My date. Oh, uh I guess we'll go there first. Can't really finish the doll. I wonder if we're like blacking out. Oh no, she's not here. Who, the young girl? She waited a while before leaving. She was furious. Oh, it's all my fault. Why do I have to fail at everything? What's my problem? Calm down, I'm only joking. <laughs> You're my first customer, as always. Don't stare at me like that. That's mean. It was a joke. I'm sorry. I'll wait for my friend. That's a pretty mean joke. Sorry for the delay. I was out walking a lot of track of time. Are you okay? You seem upset. I was worried I was late. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Really? You shouldn't worry about that. I would've waited. So what do we celebrate tonight? Your doll being almost ready? Or, I don't know, tell me. How about our reunion after all these years? Good idea. What do you have? Hmm, you can choose. You're the regular here after all. Excuse me, two chef specials, please. Can I show you something? Oh, we're gonna show her the butterfly. What is it? I received it today. Come on, open it. Oh, a butterfly. Is it dead? No, it's sleeping. I collect butterflies, you see. You have an aviary? No, I pin them into frames so their beauty never fades. That is a weird thing to say. That's what the point of ordering them- Then what's the point of ordering them alive? I don't kill them straight away. I put them in a small cage where they can flare around. That way I can get to know them and later can recall the moments we spent together. This one will be my most beautiful. Whenever I look at it, it will remind me of you. What the heck? That's, uh, nice. Do you find it strange? Yeah, it's, it's a bit unusual. Don't be offended, but between this and the dolls, 
you're almost like a character out of a horror film. <laughs> oh, I'm not too fond of those movies. They can spice things up from time to time. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'll put it away. Oh boy. Here are your noodles, lovebirds. They look delicious. Thanks. It does look good. <laughs> Grandma told me about this summer. You mean the little girl who disappeared? Ooh, yeah, let's talk about it. I'm trying to understand. I thought that type of thing only happened in town. I thought we'd be safe here. Whether in town or other country, people are the same. You have to be careful. You shouldn't worry about your friend if you home. Mm, let's do the first one. It doesn't seem to affect you. I didn't know the victim. Don't say that. I like the kid a lot. Ooh. <laughs> Which one is it? I say I liked her a lot. I believe you. Sorry to be a pain, but it seems like no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. It's not healthy dwelling on the path. The entire village is suffering. You know, we had a similar case in town. A schoolgirl was held prisoner and killed by her classmates. Oh, I wonder if they're talking about that case. The investigation of your old neighbors knew about it. This is actually a real life case. Uh, if you look it up, it is seriously messed up. I think her name is Junko. Uh, I'll have a link to the Wikipedia page if you're truly interested in that. It's really tragic. Uh, but nobody tried to help her. That's horrible. But here, how could she disappear in such a small village? Someone must know what happened, don't you think? Oh. What should I do? If I tell her, if I explain everything, maybe she'll understand. Yes, she's not like the others. Are you okay? I have to tell you something. No, don't say anything. Let yourself go. Have you heard the news? One week she'd been missing. She wasn't even ten. If you ask me, the one who did it is a monster. You see, it's not that complicated. Oh god. Come with me. The girl baths are empty. I hope they find him and make him pay for what he has done. Please, help me. What is going on? Ah, uh, I can't take it anymore. Shut up! They will never understand, will they? But her? Don't you think there's a chance? What's that noise? Can't they leave me alone? Butterfly. A butterfly? In the middle of winter? Well, I gotta have it. Oh, look at them. Oh, this is creepy. I like it. Oh, across the train tracks. No, over here. Could I have gone this way before? <laughs> We're going really deep into the forest here. It's creepy. Oh, white. Oh, it's a Jizo. Clearing my head at the smiling Jizo helped calm me down. I closed my eyes for a moment. When I opened them, I spot something lying between its feet. <gasps> Another piece of the math of the doll. It's a porcelain shard, a mouth. 
I hold it to my ear. It whispers, don't be afraid, trust me. For a minute, I feel less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. That is freaky. I just noticed it's the same skin color as the, the, the granddaughter, who we don't know her name yet. <laughs> the last day, oh! Okay, I think that's a great place to stop it. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. But I don't think it's gonna be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys the next day. See you later.